Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Victoria. Hello and welcome. Today's video is going to be a cook and clean with me. I thought I would switch it up and do one of these for you guys. I was thinking about doing a full week of meals this week, but then I realized that next week I'm going to kind of be doing that same thing with our HelloFresh meals, so look forward to that video. Today's video, I'm going to be making the chicken and corn casserole that I mentioned in my grocery haul. If you guys missed that video, I will pop it up right here in case you want to watch it. I got a couple questions about that recipe, so I thought since I'm making it tonight, I would just go ahead and film it for you guys. It's super, super easy. You pretty much just dump everything in the crock pot and mix it together, and then I will show you me cleaning up later tonight. So if you would like to see this, then let's go ahead and get started. If you are wanting to make this recipe, I am going to link the recipe down below. It's from Pinterest, and I always link my Pinterest if you would like to follow me. I save a lot of really good recipes on there, but everything that you need is shown, minus the cooked rice. But to go ahead and get started, I am putting my crock pot liner in my crock pot. You guys can get these at Walmart. I find them in the aisle where the Ziploc bags are. And these are really helpful, but as you will see later, I accidentally poked a hole in the bottom of mine, which kind of defeated the purpose, but that's okay. And I'm putting the chicken breast at the bottom of the crock pot, and I am using four chicken breasts. Next, I am dumping some frozen diced onion. This is about half of an onion that I'm using, but you can use fresh onion if you would like. And then this that I'm dumping over top of it is the cream of chicken and chicken broth mixed together. And then I'm just going to take my little spoon and just kind of mix it all together. Now the recipe says to cook the chicken on low for eight hours, but I was in a time crunch and I cooked it on high and the chicken was all the way cooked through in three hours. So it's kind of just up to your discretion, but this was after three hours and the chicken was all the way cooked through. So now I am following the recipe and it says to take the chicken out of the mixture and shred it. And I am using the same method I did in my last cook with me video where I showed you how I shredded my chicken with my hand mixer. This is so helpful and so easy. It makes everything so much quicker and so much easier. So as you can see, I'm using my hand mixer to just go ahead and shred my chicken. So this recipe is so simple. The hardest parts are actually over, believe it or not. So I'm just dumping the shredded chicken back into the crock pot. And then I'm just pretty much dumping the rest of the ingredients in. So I drained this can of corn and I'm just dumping that in there. And then I actually had some cooked couscous and I'm using that instead of rice like the recipe called for. And then I'm putting in the two cups of cheddar cheese. And basically I'm just going to mix it all together. And you could add seasonings if you want. I felt like it had a lot of flavor without it, but you can add whatever else you would like. And I'm just going to cook it until it's all mixed up and warm. I served this recipe with cornbread on the side, but you can serve it however you would like. But everybody loved it and it was so good and so easy. So it is time to clean this kitchen up. Usually I clean as I cook, but I kind of wanted to save it for this video. And I'm just kind of showing you everything that we had going on. We were hanging out in the living room. We had company over for dinner. So I just needed to straighten up in the living room, do some dishes, wipe down the countertops, stuff like that. So I am starting by putting our leftovers away. Um, Brittany and her husband brought this lemon cake from Publix. It was so good. And she let me have half of the leftovers, which was so nice. And I'm putting that in the microwave just to kind of keep it in there. And then I am starting my essential oil diffuser. You guys, I've been obsessed with my diffuser. And I'm just going to diffuse some lemon. It smells so good and fresh and clean. So while that is going, I'm going to put all of our leftovers away. And like I told you earlier, our crock pot liner kind of got a hole in the bottom, so it kind of made a mess. But I'm just putting the leftovers in this container, and I'm just going to start cleaning up. Thank you. 
Now it is time to get these dishes done and I want to know down in the comments are you the kind of person that likes to wash their dishes thoroughly before putting them in the dishwasher or do you just rinse them off like I do? I like to let the dishwasher do its work and I just pretty much rinse things out the best that I can and so none of my dishes tonight actually had to be hand washed. All of them are able to go in the dishwasher so you won't see me hand washing anything but I'm just going to load up the dishwasher which I run every single night. Also, side note, does anybody else's dog love to lick the bottom of the dishwasher? Mine does and it's just a thing where like I choose my battles and this is not one of them. And so I just let him do it when the dishwasher is dirty. But now I'm going to start scrubbing out my sink. So I'm going to use my 7th generation soap and this is the citrus scent which I really like. And then I'm going to just take my little bamboo scrubber which I really like. I've started using this instead of sponges because my dog was eating my sponges and it was really dangerous. So. I'm just scrubbing my sink out, it only takes a few seconds and it just makes your whole kitchen look a lot cleaner, smell nicer, and I just love the look of a clean sink. The next thing I'm going to do is wipe down my countertops, so I'm just using this Method All Purpose Cleaner in the Honeycrisp Apple Scent and it's my favorite scent from them of all time. This is not something that I do every single night, but it needed to be done tonight. So I'm cleaning off my stove, and first I took the tops off of my burners, and I just washed those straight in the dishwasher. They come out fine. And then I'm just using the same spray from Method and a paper towel to just get all of the gunk off. I'm kind of just doing a light, quick cleaning. Sometimes I go in for a deeper clean with like a sponge or something, but tonight I was just trying to do something quick. Something that I do at least once or twice a day is wipe down my trash can and I'm using a Clorox wipe just because so many nasty germs are on your trash can so I just had to do that quickly. And the last thing I'm doing in the kitchen tonight is starting my dishwasher which is something I do every single night even if it's not all the way full. I like to wake up to have all my dishes clean so I'm just using some Cascade Complete. To finish off the cleaning for tonight, I'm going to just pick up the living room and I just am fluffing the couch, fluffing the pillows, folding all the blankets, making sure everything looks nice and neat. Every single night I don't do a deep clean like vacuuming and that kind of thing, but I always make sure to have everything picked up just so I wake up to a clean house. Thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down any video suggestions that you have below i hope you enjoyed i love you so much thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys what am i doing